Hi, my name is Gracie Hernandez with the Santa Clara County Fire Department. Today, we're gonna to talk about some quick and easy tips on how you can be prepared for emergencies. Today, we are gonna go over three easy steps that you can take to be emergency prepared. Step one is to register for Alert SEC. Step two is to create a disaster plan. Step three is to have an emergency kit. Alert SEC is the County of Santa Clara's official alert and warning system. Once registered, you will receive alerts related to emergencies in your area, such as earthquakes, fires, or severe weather, along with instructions during the disaster. It is free and easy to set up. You can receive notifications through your mobile device, landline, and or email. Go to alertscc.org today and register. Next, I would like to discuss how to create a disaster plan. Your plan should include the following. Establishing a meeting place to reunite with your family after a disaster. Establishing an out of area contact. Creating a list of phone numbers and important emails to contact family members. And what items you will be taking with you when you evacuate. To be better prepared, you should have an emergency go bag Let's talk about the items that you should have in your kit. You wanna make sure that you have a spare change of clothes with some sturdy shoes. Also, don't forget medications, prescription and non-prescription medications is essential for you for your emergency kit. If you are someone that wears eyeglasses, having an extra pair of eyeglasses in your emergency kit in case something happens to the ones that you are wearing. Work gloves and also medical grade gloves, N95 mask, a hand crank radio to charge your devices, flashlight with batteries, food and water enough for 72 hours, a utility knife, emergency poncho, a mylar blanket, glow sticks, and don't forget your toiletries. Next, you want to have your important documents. If not in copy form, you want to have it in a USB. And don't forget your pets and your emergency plan. We want to make sure that we have food and water for them as well. And don't forget to include a pet carrier and leash into your emergency kit for your pets. They will get scared during emergencies. It is also important to include a first aid kit. This is an emergency kit that you could create on your own. Also, you have the option of buying a pre-made emergency kit. This is an example of a pre-made kit. And you'll see it has the items that we already placed in our emergency kit that we created together. Now that you created your first emergency kit, Store it in a place that you can locate it quickly to evacuate in an emergency. You can store this bag in a hall closet, garage, or even the trunk of your car. Thank you for taking this critical step in becoming emergency prepared. I invite you to join us for complimentary workshops on emergency preparedness. To find out more information, visit us at our website at sccfd.org.